Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Long Beach State Dynasty. 19 and 5 on the year, halfway through conference play, and now in this episode, we will wrap it up. We have lost two games in conference play this year to Gonzaga. I mean, remember last year we actually swept Gonzaga and Pepperdine, the top two teams in this conference. And now we go up against the rest of the guys, starting out with San Diego, and they had no shot. How about the game from Wilson Caesar? He at William Caesar, I should say, he went off, had 20 and 20. And now we face Pepperdine, who in non-conference play actually wasn't doing too hot i think they kind of got out the came out the gate struggling and i don't think they pretty much uh were a team that was gonna be anything because if you struggle in non-conference play that kind of spells how you're gonna do in conference play but they actually recovered quite well now Kayshawn cooper transferred over to pepperdine and he does play for them so i don't know how the transfer rules work here because uh, they actually do not have to sit Kayshawn Cooper. So he's playing right away after transferring away from LBSU. So let's get this game underway. Pepperdine is one of the hardest courts to play on. Here's a three, and that's knocked down by Macklin. And the reason why I hate playing on Pepperdine's court is because that camera view when you inbound the ball is definitely hard to play against, especially if they full court press, which you'll see in a second. So there is Keyshawn Green getting an and one to start out this game. That's Monsetti on the foul. I didn't see a foul on that one. So here we are, three to three game, pushing it up the court. Here is James Quick this time, trying to get around a defender, and he loses the basketball. Keyshawn Green gets it and gets it to go. Five to three early on for Pepperdine, and they are always our toughest matchup. Here is a, a steal this time. Frankie McMarcus gets it away and then passed up inside to J.J. Styles, and it's going to be a foul on James Quick. So right away, Pepperdine starts out great on defense. Here's a pass inside to Frankie McMarcus, who's been in this conference, it seems like, forever. He is a senior this year. I believe he started since he's been a sophomore. And now here is T Tony Monsetti in the corner. Missed three opportunity that time. Here they are working it up. And here's the next possession. Jump shot off the mark from Styles, rebounded. And that's actually Big Marcus, I believe that was. And here is Macklin, open for three. He's gonna take it and off. The left rim rebounded by Keyshawn Green. And let's see if our offense can get going here. Down by six, here's a corner three. Macklin, he knocks it down. There we go, finally getting on the board here. And now Frank Marcus brings it up the court. James quick guarding him. Remember, he is starting at point guard now with Workman out. And there is another three by Keyshawn Green. Three for three to start out this game. And now Pepperdine takes the early six-point lead. And they are playing excellent defense. There is Keyshawn Green on defense. He's doing it on both ends of the floor. And here's Cam Jacobs working it around to Frankie McMarcus, who knocks it down. Seven early points here. And Green and Marcus McMarcus are the only ones who've scored so far for Pepperdine. So here is Quick getting ripped away this time by Roy Okoye. And here's McMarcus taking it all the way up the court in the second personal foul on James Quick. He's going to have to come out the game. So in comes our bench here. Here's Carriar Walker from three. He comes off the bench and hits a three, brings us right back into this game. Doesn't let us drown too much. Another corner three. Knocked down. Walker hits two in a row. Solomon Teixeira on the assist in the post. And it's now 12 to 19. Here's Keyshawn Green though, he gets going. He's got 10 points, that shot from the free throw line gets him to double digits. And now we're down by nine, Solomon inside, passing over to Douglas Taylor. Solomon Teixeira is such a good passer for a seven footer. And now here they are back on offense and look who that is. That is the first points by Keyshawn Cooper off of the bench. And now here we are down by nine again. Here's Solomon Teixeira over his former teammates. And now down by seven. Here we are playing defense now. We're starting to get going. Monsetti runs the entire floor, dunks it home. And now we're just down by five, right back in this game. Good defense play by Monsetti. Here is Tashera pushing it all the way up the court. And it's two on one, and that is a great pass. 
That is going to be Tamir Macklin flying up there and take a look at Macklin. Here he is, back-to-back -back buckets. Down by three, Macklin's got 10. And now here we are in the ball inside, outside to Nick Miles, and he pulls up. It's a tie ball game. The five foot eight future point guard knocks it down and ties this game up. Good defense that time by William Caesar, but recovered. And Pepperdine does take the lead right back. So here is Miles running point, passing it out to Dank City, knocks it down. He is such a good shooter. He's going to play quite a bit when Macklin leaves, more than likely. He is such a good knockdown guy. And now here's the other Nick Miles on the other team. Remember, they have a Nick Miles as well. It's not the same person, obviously. Different, same name, different person. And now here we are from the free throw line. That is William Caesar. Ju uh, William Caesar knocking that one down. And now here is Pepperdine back out on offense, and they just keep attacking and knocking down shots. They're answering everything we hit. So down by four. Here is Blaine Ashley in the game. He gets doubled in the post. Back out to Danks. Danks shoots the three. He's got two threes in this game, and now we fast forward under one minute left here in this game. Here's Nick Miles with a deep two. He ties it up at 40 apiece. And now we hold for the last shot here as we play a good defensive possession, get it back. Seven seconds left and counting. Danks, two, one, and he's going to get ripped. And they're going to throw up a full court heave. And that's how this first half ends. Our bench actually comes in and helps us out. They were killing us. So far. their starters were really killing us. McMarcus, Cam Jacobs, and JJ Styles were all killing us. And I can't, admit, I can't forget Keyshawn Green. It's 40 up. So now we start the second half, and let's see what we can do against these tar starters. They are very, very tough. And right away, that's Roy Okoye in the middle getting going. But here is William Caesar, a little hook that time, and doubled in the post was uh, Douglas Taylor, who works it out to his buddy in the middle. The Pepperdine answers back with a three now, down 45-42. Here's Taylor in the post. He's gonna try to look for a shot here. Let's see what he does. He's gonna put up a hook, and it is off. It looked like he had a clear look at the rim. And now Pepperdine comes back out onto the, down the court. And there is Cam Jacobs who hits the mid-range. And the lead is up to five. Working it inside. This is Keyshawn Green who's off on the shot. And here is Caesar pushing it, up, pushing it up the other way. James Quick goes all the way to the basket. Untouched. And he goes up for the easy layup. 47 to 45. As here's another three taken by Pepperdine. Just absolutely knocking down everything is their starters. And now here we are working it into the post once again. Douglas Taylor gets double teamed under the basket. Out to Monsetti, who finally gets going in this game. He's been relatively quiet. But Pepperdine back on offense. Missed shot finally. Let's see if we can come back and tie this game up. We're down by four now. Here is Quick working it inside. Caesar, an easy layup, and he gets it to go. Now it's just... A two-point game here, 11 minutes to go. Good defense played by Quick. It's deflected, but actually recovered by Roy Okoye. And now up by four is Pepperdine. Corner three, Douglas Taylor, and that one rims out. He's usually good for at least one of those a game to knock down. And here's Cam Jacobs the other way. He answers right back. We're now down by seven. Here's Jacobs again. Another three from the top. Now they're up by double digits. Kayshawn Cooper misses a three. Here we are on the rebound as Carrier Walker checks into the game. He pushes it all the way up the court, but he gets ripped away. So many steal animations Pepperdine is getting in this game. And now here they are back offense. Frankie McMarcus gets the and one on the continuation and everything. I'm not sure that was much of a foul. And now here they are up by 11. Inside, Nick Miles, he gets that one to go. It's now a 13-point lead. We can't shake this double-digit lead. Here is Macklin, though, getting to the bucket, and he gets that layup. How did he get that animation all the way from the three-point line? And now we're down by eight. Here's a three-point shot. Take it and good. They are knocking down everything right now. Here they are playing good defense, but we do get uh, that deflection, and that's put up and in by Ronnie Madoki. Now four minutes left, but... They just keep answering. Keyshawn Green in the middle. He is a senior leader on this team. As here's Nick Miles at the top being guarded from Macklin. He just pulls up and it's good. Up to a 14-point lead. 
And now here they are with two and a half minutes left. Fade away two. Off the mark. Cam Jacobs. But a rebound and put up. And Pepperdine just continues to pour it on here. It's now up to 15 points. That's their biggest lead of the game. Douglas Taylor on the inside. He gets it to go. But now under two minutes, the lead is starting to grow. Here's a D2, and it's knocked down. It's now up to a 15-point lead once again. Here is Solomon to share on the inside under the hoop, and he can't get that one to go. And now it may be a little too late. Here's a corner three, and that is knocked down by James Quick. But down by 12, here's McMarcus trying to settle it. And he passes it inside to Roy Okoye under the basket. That's a Shaq-esque dunk. And now up by 14, 50 seconds left here in the second half. Contavia Morgan checks it to the game. Here is a great post move and a missed shot, but a rebound over to Shara, and it's good. And if that spells out this game, Pepperdine gets the victory. And this was one of the toughest games I've played here in this series. This was a tough game from start to finish. They were full court pressing us. They were getting all the steal animations. I haven't played in a game where the team just absolutely just locked our guys up. We we're trying to do dribble moves all game long and they would just rip them away. They hit every shot pretty much from their starters. I mean, their starters were on fire at a couple points in the game. I could not stop them hand in the face, everything, double team. I tried literally everything. And maybe the one thing I didn't try is a zone defense. Maybe I could have tried that, but sometimes the zone gives them open shots, which I don't like. I at least like a hand in the face. And Frankie McMarcus went off 18 and 12. Jacobs had 22. Keyshawn Green only had 12. He started out hot, but then Frankie McMarcus and Jacobs kind of settled that. And then Nick Miles also had 10 off of the bench. I mean, they absolutely dominated us, but Keyshawn Cooper uh, barely had a bucket in that game. And we ended up with 18 turnovers. I mean, that is the difference here in this game. I think we'll get better from here. I'm not too terribly worried. I knew we would have a top three seed. I'm pretty sure that one just settled it, though. We're probably going to end up with the three seed in the conference tournament. And it's expected. I mean, this team uh, coming off of a great year, you can't have an excellent year every single time. And we end up losing three games to Pepperdine and Gonzaga. So I definitely decided to make a move after that game. I think that Solomon Teixeira just fits in our starting lineup a little bit better. He gives us a better look inside. He can score on the inside. He can also pass from the post. And he's a great rebounder, also a seven footer. I mean, you gotta use that size and he can shoot the three ball. So William Caesar has had his career highs this year. I'm kind of bummed about taking him out of the starting lineup, but the thing is, you know, he's just not a great fit for what we want to do this year we just need the versatility inside and William Caesar can't really you know do too much offensively he's an undersized big so I definitely want to give to share the start he just adds that versatility so now we get to around the end of the season in our second game remember I only played one versus one game versus each team in the conference and we end up losing both games to Pepperdine so we are 0 and 4 versus Pepperdine and Gonzaga we swept them last year they sweep us this year then we go up against Loyola Marymount and we absolutely blow the doors off of them it's like only the top three teams in the conference really compete here Long Beach Pepperdine and Gonzaga and that shows here we out about rebounded them 63 to 25 Monsetti and James Quick each scored 25 apiece. And now we go up against Santa Clara to end the season. And you can just see their best players. Ty Davis is averaging just about a double-double, 11 and 10. Carter Cash is their starting uh, shooting guard. He's only averaging six as a starting shooting guard. That is way too low. And then they have one good freshman there off the bench, Barry Jones. And we're going to hop into this game here in the second half up by almost 50 to be honest but let's create some momentum going into the conference tournament so here we are now up by about 50 and here is a transition layup nice pass by quick to douglas taylor and that's an easy layup and now it's 77 31 here's james quick getting the pick and roll out to the corner macklin needs to create that confidence going into the tournament i'm gonna need it and to be honest, I think Solomon to share in the starting lineup is really going to help our offense because now we can work inside out. And here's Monsetti with the pick. It gets an open three, and it's good. 52-point lead now. 
And now five minutes to go. Here they are working it inside, and they do get one to go that time. It's now down to a 50-point lead. As here's a pick and roll. Quick gets to the basket this time, and that's good. I'm going to need James Quick to really show up here in the tournament and obviously boost his NBA draft stock because he is one of the players that the NBA is watching from our team as that is a three knockdown from Kerry R. Walker. And now here we are up 88 to 36, but there's a layup that time, a spinning layup. And now under two to go. Here is James Quick. Nice little pick and roll. Gets to the basket and draws the foul. And that one will put him on the line. He knocks down both free throws. Now 93-41. Monsetti handling the ball. Gets it knocked away. Out to Kentavian Morgan who knocks it down. It's now 96 to 41. Here's Teixeira in the post. Passing it back out to Morgan. Back inside to Teixeira. This is what I'm talking about. That's the offense that I want to run right there. Getting it inside to Teixeira. Using that length. Using that ability because he's the only one on the team. He and Douglas Taylor are the only ones on the team that really have that true offensive ability inside. Kayshawn Cooper used to have it, but he obviously transferred. And we end up winning that game to end the season. Sashera had 20 points and 22 rebounds. An amazing game from him. Macklin had 12 and 12. He had 12 assists. James Quick had 29 as well. And then you can just see the only guy that scored a double... Uh, digits for them was Joseph Benefield, their starting point guard, and Davis had 12 rebounds as well. But we end up with the win, and that is how this season ends. 24 and 7 overall. Obviously, not the year we had last year, but we ended up going 10 and 4 in conference. It looks like our only way in could be a uh, conference championship. I don't think we're going to get an at large bid this year, so we need to win this championship we need to get it done this year especially if we want to get that promotion into the next conference now uh dixon actually does win player of the year he is a he was a pretty good center for gonzaga and rightfully so i mean gonzaga dominated they should have the player of the year as well monsetti actually ended up being first team so congrats to him and we'd had no second teamers in the conference i'm surprised by that Douglas Taylor averaged 7, 2, and 10 and 1.6. I mean, the guy is a walking stat line. I mean, he does it all. There's a reason why he's on NBA radars. And then all defensive second team, Macklin actually does end up on that team. He averaged 15.1, four assists, two rebounds, just about a steal and a block. And then Solomon Deshera ended up first team all freshman. He averaged nine and seven and a half. And then Kerry R. Walker was on the second team or first team freshman. And so was Nick Miles. I'm surprised by this. And it's mainly be probably because there aren't a lot of freshmen in the conference, so it's easy to make the freshman team. And then Tyrus Danks makes second team. He did definitely did not deserve it. He only averaged three points. So now here we are at the three seed. It looks like we are on the side of Pepperdine. So we will end up playing the winner of San Diego and Santa Clara. And then we will play Pepperdine if we win that game. And then hopefully I get my rematch with Gonzaga. We'll have to see how that goes. But I'm ready for a conference championship this season. It's been far too long. This is our fourth year in this conference. So we got to get it done. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah. Started from the mud. Now you see us going up. Numbers never lie. Now you see us blowing up. People used to front. Now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck. I don't. Always been one up on all of these. They be trying to front for all of these.